I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Now we'll look into a few more questions based on the geometry of vectors and we'll consider division of line segment applications. The question here is, in the given triangle OAB, C divides BA in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So that means this is 3, this is 2. And D divides OA in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So this is 3 and this is 1. So that is the ratio. Point P is on the intersection of OC and BD. So that is the point P to us. Point P is on the intersection of OC and BD. Find the ratio in which P divides OC and BD. Right. So we are given two points which are dividing the two sides of a triangle. Now we need to find the ratio in which P divides the given line segments. Right. So let's say the ratio is, we'll say T. And so this will be like 1 minus t. You get the idea, right? And the other one, we can take this as s. Then in that case, this will be 1 minus s, right? So if this is one unit length, that is s part of it. Sorry, 1 minus s, right? Okay. So that is how we are going to. And we'll need to find the value of t and s basically. Okay. How do we get about this? Now, we know that if C is dividing this point, this segment, AB, in the given ratio, we can find what OC is, right? So let's write down our position vectors. So let us say that B is a position vector O to B, and A is a position vector from O to A. In that case, what is OC? So we can write OC as equal to what? So from our section formula, we know the total divisions here are 5, right? So the position C can be written as 2 over 5, 2 fifth, right? 2 over 5 of OB, which is B, plus 3 over 5 of OA, right? So, which is vector A. Now, this is called section formula, which we have derived earlier. I'll provide you a link on this, right? Okay, so we get the point OC now. We can also find what is B to D, right? So, to get B to D, Now, this is 3 plus 1, 4 in all. So if it is 4 in all, then, then B to D should be 3 times this vector, which is A, right? Okay. But we can get B, D as a combination of these two. That would be better, right? So we'll take like this because A, this is along A itself. So we can say BD is BO, we'll write this as BO plus OD, okay, that is better. Instead of using this formula, this is better. So B to O is minus B, okay. And O to D is, we divided A into four equal parts, so three out of four. Is that clear? So when you go in this direction, BO, since vector B we have taken like this, right? Vector A we have taken in this direction. So, so B to D will be BO over D. So we got this point. Perfect. Now, let's look into OP. So if I see OP from this direction, in that case, OP can be written as T times OC, right? So we have all this. We can write OP as T times 
OC, which is T times 2 over 5B plus 3 over 5A. Okay, so we get OP in this fashion. Now, we could write OP also in some other way. So we can write OP as a ratio of combination of these two, right? So we can say BP or OB plus BP, right? So we can also write OP as O to P, this vector, as OB plus BP. Okay. So OB is known to us, which is vector B. BP is S times BD. So BD we already found here. So we can write BP as equals to S times BD, the total length, right? Or OP can now be written as B plus S times BD is this. Let me rewrite this as 3 over 4A minus B. Clear? So, it's kind of intricate. So, we got the value of BD from here, right? So, we we'll say, so we got one equation for OP. We'll name this as 1. Let's call this as 2. And then from BD, we substituted 2 here, right? To get another equation in OP. Okay. Now, let us rearrange this so that we clearly get what A and B terms are. So here, we get B and this is BS. Let's say B minus BS. And we get plus 3 over 4 AS, right? Okay. So A and B are our vectors. So I could write this as 3 over 4s times vector A. We can take S common here and we get rather we can take B common, B is common, we get uh, 1 minus S. So 1 minus S times B. That's what we get here. Let's call this as our equation number 3. Now, what you see here is that OP has now been written in two different ways. One, we have OP in the parameter T and another time OP with the parameter S. We are interested in both T and S, right? So, what should we do? So, from here, what we are going to do is the coefficients of A and B we are going to match and then find T and S. Got the idea, right? So, so the trick involved here is to match coefficients of vector A and B, right? So, that is the trick. That helps us to really solve this question. So, what is the coefficient of a in the first equation? 3 over 5 t, right? So we'll write 3 over 5 t from here equals 2. From here, coefficient of a is 3 over 4 s. 3 over 4 s. Okay? So that gives us 4 t equals to 5 s. So we get one equation. 4 t equals to 5 s. This is by comparing the coefficients of A. This is what we did. Correct. Now, let us compare the coefficients of B, which are these. Here the coefficient is this, right? So we'll have 2 over 5 T equals 2, 1 minus S, right? So that is the coefficient of B. So we can actually cross multiply, right? So we have 2t equals to 5 minus 5s. 
Oh, now 5s is 4t, right? So we'll substitute this, 5s is 4t. So we get 2t equals to 5 minus 5s is 4t, 4t. So let's solve this on the right side. So we get both the values of t and s. So bringing it to the left, we get 2t plus 4t equals to 5, and that is 6t equals to 5, or t equals to 5 over 6. So we get the value of t. Now from this equation, we can find the value of s, right? So we know s is 4 over 5t. t is 5 over 6. So that means s is 4 over 5 times 5 over 6. That is 5 and 5 cancel, 2 over 3. 2 over 3. So we get the value of s as 2 over 3. So we get both the values. We get t as equal to 5 over 6. And we get s as equal to 2 over 3. You get the idea, right? So, so the value of s is 2 over 3. That means this ratio will be 2 is to 1, right? 2 over 3. So total will be 3 out of which S is 2. And here 5 is to 6. So T is 5, right? So we can now say that the answer is that the ratio BP is to PD, so this side, is equal to what? S is 2 over 3, so this portion is 2. The total is 3, so it is 2 is to 1. Is that clear? The other one, which is OP to PC is what? OP to PC will be what? So T is 5 over 6. So out of 6 equal division, 5 is this. So it is 5 is to 1. You get an idea, right? So that is what the answer should be. So I hope you understand this strategy. So the strategy in solving these questions is that you have to take the point under consideration, find its value from two different directions so that you involve both the parameters and then equate the terms which are similar and get your answer. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.